Hey everyone, happy Saturday. Welcome to today's call. Today is all about blitzing. So let's talk blitzing. As you guys know, we are a belly to belly business and sharing this business with people and showing your face is so, so important. You get to see who your wellness coach is and it puts personality to it. And personality sells in this business, right? Everyone can sell the same product, but if your personality is not into it, people will go to the next distributor. Potentials are looking to, for the right person to order from. So this is your chance to be the superstar that you are and let your personality shine. Um, it's not that they don't want the product, um, it's just that they haven't found the right distributor to trust enough to purchase from. And this is where your personality is going to play a major role. So what I love about Blitzing is that it's not only allowing you to share your business with everyone, but you, have, you will have potential buyers who want the product right then, right now, which is you know, cash, cash money that you get to put in your pocket. You know, if you're ever needing something to eat or if you want to get some your nails done or if you want to go out to the movies or whatever it is that you need cash for, all you have to do is go out there and talk to people about this lovely business and spread your energy through it. And people are going to either, one, want to schedule a wrap party with you or they want to, two, pay cash for it right then and there. Again, $25.00. Easy to make in less than five minutes just from talking to people. So as you guys know, again, you are able to schedule wrap parties, um, and they're easier to schedule when you are blitzing because your potentials get to feel your excitement for this business and the energy that you're going to be bringing to their party as well, which in turn makes them excited to share this with their friends and family members to come out and try the, the product as well. So I am extremely excited to introduce one of our very own superstars on the call today, um, which is Miss Executive Distributor Nicole Harris. She came into this business not knowing what to expect. Um, when we met, she was only interested in trying this product solely for weight loss, and she didn't even know that she would be starting a business with It Works. Uh, you know, she then in turn became a distributor after we had a blast at our wrap party, and she saw the potential in this business, and she had friends that wanted to try the product, and I'm like, you know you can make money with this. Like, you saw what we did at your party and how your friends were excited about it, why don't you just become a distributor? So she became a distributor and you know she really wasn't comfortable with blitzing but she gave it a try and after trying her first time she told me she was never going to blitz again. <laughs> but I encouraged her, um, I encouraged her to keep going as she did and now she makes blitzing a lifestyle. Um, Nicole has been able to gain over a hundred contacts per week. Um, and not only that, earning cash whenever she wants. So she can literally go out, talk to somebody about this product, and make $25 or make however much money it is that she's selling her individual wraps for. Um, and not only that, again, she gets to build her business. So I am extremely excited to welcome Nicole to our call. Um, she's going to be sharing her tips on how she became and earned this title of a Blitz Queen and how it's been able to impact her business and help her personally with her personal growth. So Nicole, are you there? <laughs> Hello. Hi, everyone. Hey, so thank you so much for joining the call. Um, again, we're extremely excited to have you share these amazing tips because you, you came into this business and you've been blowing it out the wall ever since you got comfortable with blitzing. So I have a few questions for you that I would like for you to share with the team. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started with the first question. When did you start at Works and why did you decide to join? Well, I started at Works in April of this year and I decided decided to join basically because like you said I saw the potential in making money and basically living free, being successful and getting out of debt. Awesome. So you saw the potential, you saw me working my business on Instagram and I remember you were like, I wish that could be me and I'm like, it can be you. <laughs> um, we just got to yeah. get started. So. Once, that was like I think around um, the beginning of this year and 
you know, slowly you were you were staying in contact with me, and you were like, okay, I think I'm ready. I'm going to give it a try. And so we got you started, and, you know, you started with your Instagram page, and then I talked to you about blitzing. And you didn't really know what blitzing meant, but based off of what I explained to you, how did you initially feel about blitzing in the beginning? I really was afraid to go and approach people because no is a word that I used to didn't like to hear. And I was afraid of rejection and people just telling me they weren't interested. So it kind of made me feel a bit nervous about going out to strangers and asking them, to try my product basically. So you were afraid of the, the word no, which of course everyone is, even myself, like I said, coming into the business for those who do know who I am, I was afraid of blitzing too, like that was just not my thing. So I completely understood where you were coming from, like the rejection, no one wants to be rejected. But after, you know, your very first time blitzing, your first potential, talk to me a little bit about that and how was your experience with that and, you know, how did that go for you? Was it a first yes when you first blitzed someone or was it no and the rejection that came with it? Well, it was absolutely a yes when I first done it because... I actually blitz somebody at a facility I go to, and they always was asking me how did I lose the weight I lost. So when I told them how I lost it, I also told them that basically I in turn became a distributor, and if they wanted to try the product, that I would have it on hand in a week or so. So that's how I initially blitzed. I didn't blitz like I would go out and do the day, which I'll show show you all a little later, but that's basically how that happened. Excuse me, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, it, mm -hmm. it's okay. <laughs> so pretty much you, you got a guess the very first time. At what point was it like in the beginning that you got your first no or the second time? Talk to me about how you felt when you got rejected the very first time. Rejected the very first time it was from my sister who told me no. I invited her to my rap party and basically she was saying if she wanted to lose weight she could do it on her own which she still haven't done yet. But at the end of the day she told me no and it made me feel some kind of way because she said that I always start something that I don't finish so why pursue them when I know basically I wouldn't continue on to help them. So that was my real first no. And how did you feel? Like, how did that make you feel? I felt sad and I felt like, well, maybe I shouldn't do this because I don't complete things and I don't finish what I start. So I was skeptical a whole bunch. Wow, so a family member told you no, you know, you shouldn't do it, and you know, most of our support we rely on from our family members, so when our family members reject us, it's like, ooh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because even with my friends and family members, you know, when I presented the opportunity to them and I presented, you know, um, the products to them, they weren't so supportive in the beginning, and I had to kind of find a way out of that and how to, you know, keep going even after I told them about it, I blitzed them and I did what the company told me to do and they just weren't buying into it. So, you know, at what point, you know, after being told no from your sister, you know, what made you want to keep going? Because as she told you, you know, you start things that you don't finish, which we all know that that's not the case because you're, you've earned the title of being a Blitz Queen. So talk to me a little bit about what made you decide to continue Blitzing even after you got that rejection. Okay. Well, what made me continue is basically because in order to run my business, people had to know about it. So I couldn't let her, you know, her reaction make me stop. I had to keep going because I had to get paid. And if I don't have clients or customers, I can't be paid. At the end of the day, if they people don't know what you have, then 
they're not going to want to buy. So it's best to go out there, I figure, to them with your product in your hand and show them what they're getting. And that, that's absolutely right. I mean, you can only expand and expose yourself when you're out there branding and letting people know what you have to offer. So you hit that right on the ballpoint. <laughs> um, so I want to talk to you a little bit about how blitzing has changed your business. So again, coming into this, you were terrified of it. You weren't completely comfortable with it. Um, your very first time you blitzed. You got your first yes, that was great, um, but then you got you got hit with the rejection and, you know, your sister, your own family telling you, no, don't do this, and then you just kept going, and, you know, just to see you and you telling me, no, I'm not blitzing, no, I'm not doing rap parties ever again, and to see <laughs> you blossom <laughs> the way that you have, um, I can really see how it has changed your business. So talk to me a little bit about how blitzing um, itself, not even with Instagram, how blitzing has been able to change your business. Okay. Well, basically, it's changed my business because at the end of the day, like I said, people want this product. They want to know about it. And most of the time, I believe, they're afraid to reach out through Instagram and social networks because they don't see or know who they're directly talking to. So at the end of the day, I feel like if you're going to people up front and personal, they get to know who you are. They get to feel your vibe from your own business, how you run it and how you enjoy running it. And then they feel like they can trust you a little more. They just want to know that what they're buying is going to work and that they can depend on you to be there for them if they need you for any aspect of them using the product. So basically most people want to see you at hand. So blitzing in the world really has changed my business that way because I get a lot of clients who may not want to sign up automatically right away but who want to get wrapped a few times before they sign up. So I have the product and here we are. And I remember you were kind of like the same way. You, instead of signing up as a customer, you wanted to just get wrapped all the time. And I'm like, no, I want I want you to send money. <laughs> so I presented the loyal customer program to you. I presented the distributor opportunity to you. And although I didn't blitz you at first, just knowing that, you know, you, you met me, I came over to your house, we had a blast at your rap party, you lost inches at your party, you got it done the right way, <laughs> which is important, and you trusted me. So, you know, you kept in contact with me, and you were like, I, I want more raps, and I'm like, no, let's save you some money, let's get you to become a customer, or let's make you some money, and let's get you to become a distributor. So, really, like, being in person, I don't think that you would would have trusted me like that without me coming to you and being in person with right. you and letting my uh, personality shine, which is, again, that's what blitzing is about, being who you are and spreading the word about your business and letting your personality shine through it and letting people see your excitement for it. So if you're excited about it um, and when you get them wrapped and you're blitzing them and you're getting their contact information, then they're going to be excited about it and they're going to go home and they're going to tell all their friends, hey, this, this woman just blitzed me um, or this woman just told me about this rap thing. Have you heard about it before? And, and then it becomes word of mouth. And then friends are going to want to try it. Friends are going to want to have rap parties all from that one blitz card, which is completely amazing. So the power of blitzing is really powerful. Um, I know we tend to get very comfortable online and, um, you know, we got we to gotta start getting off of our butts and just getting more in person with people because you can't really take over your city if you're sitting behind a computer. You have right. to get out there and build exposure, build your brand in person so that, you know, when people are going around talking about these raps, they already know who the local person is, who to run to. Oh, I know Nicole's in Baltimore. Let me hit her up. You know, I know Jasmine's in Tampa. Let me hit her up. Whatever state you're in, you should be building a brand in there. And you can only do that with blitzing. Of course, Instagram is going to allow you to expand in different cities, different states. Um, in different countries, but if you really want to run your city, you have to get out there and blitz 
and, and show people what it is that you have to offer. Show them who you are because, again, there are tons of different distributors that are in this business that may be in your city, but they're not you. And they don't have the training the way that you do. And they're, they, everyone has something unique about them. Um, and there's a person for everyone. So just like they say with dating, there's a person for everyone. There's a distributor for everyone. So, right. you know, Nicole might blitz somebody and I might blitz the same person, but they want to go with Nicole instead because she brought that energy. She brought that excitement more than maybe I did, or maybe they could relate with her. And, you know, with you being in person, you get to build that connection with people. Um, you know, again, because you're more in person, they, they know who you are. They got a feel of your personality and the energy that you're going to bring. Um, so that's really, really great. So tell me about some places that you go to Blitz. Where exactly do you, you Blitz, Nicole? My most favorite place to Blitz is downtown in Baltimore City at our Inner Harbor because it's so many different people down there. So it's like on the weekends, everybody from everywhere, they come visit from all over the place, and I just go talk to everybody. I don't care who you are. <laughs> I see you walking and you feel and I feel like you're gonna stop. I'm gonna stop with you with my card, my rat, my two um grains, and I'm gonna ask you, can I basically talk to you about what's in my hands? Awesome. So you, you don't set any particular targets. It's like, okay, if I see you, that's it. And and that's the same thing with me. Um, when I blitz people, if we make eye contact, oh, you're going to know about my business. <laughs> <laughs> Exchanging any money, that's an easy way to blitz. Um, yeah. You know, we, we try to think about blitzing and, and make it overcomplicated and start thinking too much about it, but it's very simple. It's very simple. And with us being a belly to belly company, you gotta get the wraps on people. That's the only way they're gonna believe that it works. Um, and that's the only way that you're gonna be able to really build in this business is getting out there and exposing yourself. So even if you make it very simple, you know, if you wanna start off small before you plan blitz days, start out with, you know, talking to people that you exchange money with daily. If you're going to fast food restaurants, that cashier should know about your business. Um, if you're going to a restaurant, that waitress or server should know about your business. If you're going to the movies, whoever um, is, is giving you the movie ticket or tearing off the ticket to tell you what theater to go in, they should know about your business. And it's very, very simple. So we talked about, you know, where do you go to blitz? Do you blitz every day or is this just something that you do in your spare time? Like what does a typical day for you look like? I blitz everywhere I go, like you said. I always make sure I have at least ten cards in my hand in my pockets or in my purse. And if I'm on a bus, if I'm on a train, like you said, in the movies, anywhere I go, I blitz people. It like you said, if you make eye contact with me and say hello, the rest is mine. <laughs> <laughs> So once you say hello to them, you got them. We're going to talk about this business one way or another. That's awesome. That's that is awesome. So you really make it a lifestyle. And you shouldn't really look at blitzing as a job. And that's what I don't want you guys to do. I don't want you guys looking at blitzing like it's a job. Um, it's a lifestyle, you know, just like with going to the gym, eating healthy. It's a lifestyle. Make it a lifestyle. Work it into your regimen. You don't have to technically go out and do blitz days. If you want to go out, like what Nicole does is she goes to the harbor every Sunday, you know, to, to meet with different people because all different types of people come to the harbor from different parts of the world. They come to visit Baltimore. Um, so she sets out in her schedule to do blitz days. You don't technically have to do that. You don't have to go out your way and plan a day for it, but if you do, awesome, because that's even more time that you're going to be spent on building your business. But you can start off small about, by everyone that you see, you know, everyone that you exchange words with, even if it's a hello or someone's holding the door for you. Hey, let me give you a coupon. Thank you for holding the door for me. You know, make small talk. We get paid in this business to make friends. And 
that's pretty much what you're doing all day is being friendly and making friends all day long or you know whenever you're out and about that's pretty much all it is to blitzing is making friends some people are gonna tell you no that's okay keep it moving some people are gonna tell you yes some people are gonna look at you crazy like what the hell are you presenting to me I don't believe in that you know it happens to me still even being a double diamond you know, a lady that is really heavily into fitness, she was like, oh, no, I don't believe in that stuff. And it's just like, okay, well, give it to someone that you know who would want to benefit from this. Um, mm -hmm. And just really knowing yourself. So when you have someone that tells you something like that, like, oh, I don't believe in it, well, that's when you have your before and after pictures to show people, to show them, you know, hey, I use the product and this is what it does. You got to make people into believers. And the only way you're going to do that is by, of course, exposing yourself, being a product of your own product, and getting the product on them, most importantly. Um, and if anyone ever talks about the price, that's when you guys can talk about blitzing, I mean, about uh, rap parties. So, Nicole, tell me a little bit about how you explain the rap party option to people when you are blitzing. Well, actually, this is what I do. I'll walk up to them and I'll say, hello, my name is Nicole. I'm an independent distributor for It Works Global. Have you heard of that crazy rap thing? And they'll tell me yes or no. So if they tell me no, I'll say, well, the rap, the rap is a product that we use. It's all natural, and it tightens, tones, and firms in 45 minutes. And then I'll tell them, basically, this is Customer Appreciation Month, and if you would like to try it, you get two complimentary greens to go, which is anti inside detoxifiers, and they work to detox your, um, uh, I done messed up. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but no, I basically no. tell them that it, it detoxes you from the inside. And basically, I have it in my hands, and I'll say, well, the coupon is for a free rat party. If you gather together five friends, you get rat for free. That's awesome. how I do that. Awesome, awesome. So just to kind of share a different way of blitzing, um, I don't have my blitz card right here with me, but what I do is, you know, I'll say, hey, how are you? How's your day going? You know, building that rapport with people. And then I'll, I'll say, you know, there's one. this is one of the ways that you can say it. You know, I'm introducing a new product to the area. Have you ever heard of this before? And I show them the blitz card, and then they'll look at it. They'll take it out my hand, or I'll place it in their hand, and they'll look at it, and they're like, Hmm, looking it up and down, and I'm like, well, this is what it is, and this is what it does. And then, you know, how I present the uh, rap parties to them, and I'll, I'll just say, you know, let's make it a girls' night out. Let, let's have some fun. Bring five of your girlfriends together. You'll get rap for free. They'll get to try the product 50% off. We'll make it a fun night. Or I'll even offer um, making a, a facial night with facials and wines. Let's have some wines and some girls over and we can have a facial and wine party. Really simple. And they feed off of that energy, you know. So you saw how we were excited about it. That's exactly how you have to be when you are talking to people um, about blitzing. So the next thing that I want to ask you, Nicole, is how do you gain so many contacts per week? Like, what do you think your average contacts are weekly? Well, I gain about 10 a week, close to 10 to 15 a week because I'm always talking to different people. Uh, you would never notice it now because I'm nervous as crap because I'm on this camera. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I just don't care where you are, who you are. If you take my card and you say you're interested, my number's on the back and I'm asking you for yours so I can keep in contact with you as well. You may have the card, put it in your purse, and forget it's there. So if you give me your information, I can call you and say, well, I'm just doing a follow-up. I met you this place, and I wanted to know if you were still interested in trying my rap. Awesome. Awesome. And another way, guys, that you can, you know, get contacts is, of course, just being creative. So you can say, hey, can I text you um, this coupon just in case you lose the one that I give you? I want to I make sure that you still have this coupon so you can um, take advantage of these amazing discounts or take advantage of this free wrap party that we have available for you. Um, 
And, and, you know, that's just the easy way, just simply taking a front and back picture of the card and texting them the picture, you know. And then once you text them, the follow-up shortly after, you know, hey, I met you at the harbor, and I wanted to thank you for uh, taking my, my information. I can't wait to get you wrapped. Let's talk about scheduling your free wrap party. That's another way that you can introduce the wrap parties to people um, after you get their contact information as well. So I wanted to ask you about your personal growth. So being more in person with people, how do you feel that blitzing has helped you with your personal growth? Being that you came into it and you weren't really interested in doing blitzing, you hated rejection, how do you feel that it's helped you with your personal growth? I feel that it's helped me to be more communable. I communicate a lot more with people. I know how to be a little more professional because every time you get a little better, it's like you always have room for growth. And when you feel like you messed up or hesitated, the next time you go back, you just do it over and do it better. So every day I'm still growing, actually. And I just feel like basically it's easy now because I do it so much. So it's fun. And I've grown in a way that I'm just not afraid anymore like I used to be. So you have became fearless, this fearless blitz queen. <laughs> and that's exactly all it is. You know, you guys doing it multiple times, doing it over and over and over again, and knowing that when you first start, you're going to mess up. You know, you're going to stumble off your words. You're going to, um, you know, freeze up, and that's okay. Your heart's going to beat like crazy when you get out the car and you're like, whew, I'm going to do this. You know, it, it's normal. It happens with everyone. No one really likes going up to people and just talking to them, strangers that they don't know. Um, again, it, it, it's happened to all of us. You know, I still freak out a little bit when it's time for me to get out the car and like, yeah. okay, it's going to be a blitz day. But, you know, just knowing that you have, power in your hands. You know, you have the power to change someone's life financially. You have the power to change someone's life uh, physically. And you know what the products have done for you. And that's why we always preach to be a product of your own product because you have to know what the product can do. And you have to be able to show people. I remember going into, um, when I was living in Baltimore, going to Towson Mall, and I went into Forever 21, and I blitzed this girl in the store. And she looked me up and down, and she was like, well, have you tried the product? And I'm like, yeah, you want to see? And she was like, lift up your stomach. Let me Lift up your shirt. Let me see your stomach. So I showed her my before and after picture. I lift up my shirt in the, in the store. And she was like, oh, my God, I, I have to have it. So it's really important for you guys to be a product of your own product because people are going to be asking you for your results. Have you personally used it? And it doesn't matter which shape or size you are because, I mean, Everyone has to start somewhere. So that's why I say don't get too caught up on, oh, I'm not where I want to be. Oh, I'm not skinny. That doesn't matter. They just want to see that the product is work, uh, works. And everyone has different goals. Everyone has different weight loss journeys. Again, so it doesn't matter if you're skinny or if you, you are thick. It doesn't matter. Um, people just want to see that the product actually works on you. So be a product of your own product and have your picture ready when people are, um, when you are going out to talk to people so they know exactly how the product works. They can see that it works. You are a product of your own product, and that builds even more trust with the people that you are talking to about, uh, you know, the product and the business. So I know with Blitzing, again, we talk about the cash a lot. Nicole, since you are the Blitz queen that you are, I know that you've made a lot of cash so far. So talk to me about how much cash that you, you think that you've made on average. Like how much cash are you able to make? Uh-oh, looks like we lost her. Give me one second, guys. But, uh, you know, so let's talk a little bit about the cash that you've been able to make with Blitzing. I know that you've earned a lot of cash. You have your blitz, your rap party coming up, um, your first in-person uh, rap party. Uh, so talk to me a little bit about the cash. Like, how much cash have you been able to make so far with Blitzing? 
Wow. I, if I go to the harbor like I normally do and take a box of wraps, I'll sell to you maybe throughout that whole day, which is perfectly fine. And that's about $50 every Sunday because somebody, like I said, always wants to, pro wants to try it. And if I do a rat party and it's successful, I'll make about maybe $240 to $50. That's awesome. That's awesome. So an extra $50 a week, that's not bad. That's $100 every two weeks. Just from going out there and talking to people and spreading the word about your products and getting the product on them. So that is very, very awesome. So my next question that I have for you is what do you carry in your Blitz, your blitz bag? That's what we like to call it, a Blitz bag. When you go out and talk to people, what do you like to carry with you? Okay, well, I had it ready, but I left it in the house, so I apologize for that. But what I carry is my wraps, my greens, and my blitz cards. That's all I need in there, and that's all I carry. Because, like I said, I carry the wraps because I'm knowing that I'm going to get sell at least one or two of them. The greens, because if they buy the wraps, I want them to know that Here's another product that we should use to, along with the rest, that helps with results. And the Blitz card because it gives them the free rat party, and basically that's a party for me to make more money. Awesome, awesome. So the same with me, what I carry in my Blitz bag is Saran Wrap, a box of wraps, because you never know. If someone's going to buy from you right then and there, my Blitz cards. Um, and then I also carry a dry wrap. So I want people to be able to feel it. So I'll take the wrap out. Like if I want to say this, this is what it is, I'll take it out so they can feel the material of it. I let them know that it is a dry wrap, um, that it normally comes with the solution already pre-treated on the wrap. So they can get to see it and they get to feel it and they get to know you know how big it is because a lot of people will ask you questions like that so I do carry the same um, about the same similar things in my bag as well just the exception of um, well I include the 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 wrap <laughs> so people can actually see where to put it so that that's pretty awesome so we're gonna wrap up this interview and we're gonna have you share your tips on how to become a blitz queen with it work Okay. Well, my first tip would be, like I said, do not be afraid to go up and approach people because when you're approaching them, you're basically offering them to offering them your product and to try it. And you never know who's wanting to try it and you just may bump into that one person. So I basically say don't be afraid. Then I'll say know your products, know what your product does know that at the end of the day, after you finish explaining to them what it is, that they're prospectively going to buy it or try it or join, you know, sign up as a loyal customer. And then be confident. I am very confident outside of the world. It's like I have a little bit of problems when I'm texting or Email and because I don't know, well, am I saying the right thing? I find myself going back and forward to your script, Jasmine. <laughs> but it seems like it's a little easier if when you're in front of people because you want them basically not to tell you no right there in your face and you want to grab them because they're right there. It seems like it's such a far fetch when you're online. So that's why I'd rather basically blitz outside and in the world. Then I say be cheerful because people don't want to buy products from people who aren't happy about what they're selling or what they're offering or what they're trying to promote to you. So basically if you come to me and you're saying, well, hi, my name is whoever, this is this crazy rap thing, have you tried it? I'm going to look at you and say no and I don't think I want to try it. you got to be <laughs> excited about what you're doing. And Basically, never overwhelm the person. You want to let them know what it does, but you don't want to give them every single detail. Because if they're a little bit interested, you just give them a reason to want to call you back. Just to say, well, she told me this, but let me see if it does this, if it really works on this. So, 
you give them information but not too much. And my last thing would be basically don't ever leave without their phone number because at the end of the day, you're basically leaving with no contact and you don't ever know if they'll call you back. So I always ask them in the end, you know, you have my card with my name and number on it. Can I have your number as well just so I can follow up? And basically that's how I do it. Awesome, awesome. And just some other tips that I would recommend to you, like, like she said, be confident, be cheerful, you know, be excited and make sure that you're asking for that, that contact information. And when you get the contact information, make sure that you're following up um, because that way you're not you're not wasting your time all of that hard work of blitzing and asking them for that contact information you've got to follow up with people and you can do it with two day two week two month rule um, with just following up with people letting them know that you're checking back in with them hey I met you at such and such place um, I wanted to you know get your your free uh, wraps party scheduled. I want to get your consultation set up so that we can get you trying this product and you can see how it works for you and we can get you started on your health and wellness goals, your health and wellness journey, you know, little things like that. Um, and then of course they'll, they'll always remember you when you're bringing that excitement to, you know, the conversation and when you're blitzing someone. So I really, really hope that this call was extremely helpful for you. Um, I want to thank you again, Nicole, for sharing your amazing tips. And you guys all can do this. You know, if Nicole can do it, if I can do it, if Tracy, Corey, if any of the leaders can do it, and we came into this shy and really not knowing what to expect, just know and believe that you can do it too. And one more tip before you guys go is if you ever feel, um, you know, self-doubt or if you're ever feeling like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to sound in front of people, one amazing tip that you can do to practice blitzing is blitz in front of a mirror. Um, so that way you can see how people see you. They can see, you can see your energy that you're bringing to it. And you can also record yourself just to hear how you are explaining it. What you don't want to do is throw up all over people. You don't want to give them too informa too much information. Just share what's on that card. You know, have you tried that crazy rap thing? This is what it is. This is what it does. That's all you need to explain to them. You don't need to go into, you know, extreme pricing, any of that stuff, unless you unless they ask. You know, only answer questions that they ask. So I really hope that this was helpful for you guys. You guys can go, go out here and be blitz queens, blitz kings, um, and make this business work for you. There's people in this business that don't even build off of Instagram that are bringing in loyal customers and distributors just from blitzing. So it can be done. It's another way to build your business, and it's a great way to take over your city. So I thank you again, Nicole, for you know sharing your amazing tips with the team. And if you don't have anything else to say, um, I thank you guys for watching in today, and I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of the weekend. So thank you guys for tuning in.